as a young fellow, you're not really directed to philosophy, to philosophical interests. You want action. And in India, there was room for action because then I discovered the strange situation of secularism in India. In Europe, secularism means secularism. It means keeping a distance from religious matters. Whereas in uh, India, it turned out that many secularist positions turned out to be pro-Islamic or even pro-Christian positions. In Europe, secularism had come about precisely as a reaction against Christianity. So this was strange. Like in the affair of the satanic verses, the novel by Salman Rushdie, I found that in India, there was a big polemic going on among secularists, whether to support this ban on the Rushdie book or not. And so the really hard secularists, the communists, they were in support of Rushdie. But all the Congress-side secularists, like Kushwan Singh or like M.J. Akbar, who today you might know as a BJP ideologue, but back then was in Congress, you see, they supported the ban. So I thought this was very strange. At that time, I thought that in Europe, this was unthinkable. Now, of course, 30 years later, I know better because in Europe now, all our politicians are taking precisely the same positions. But that's in India, that's old hat. That's why you have Article 295A, which was started as an article to prohibiting criticizing Islam, which was then later also used by Christianity and finally also by Hindus. But at any rate, it prohibits criticism of religion. So it is anti-secular. It is as emphatically anti-secular as you can get. So I discovered these things and I thought, my God, okay, let's do something about that. And so then I investigated the Ayodhya affair, which is at the source of the Rushdie affair, as few people know. So then I got into that and discovered many things that are just completely unknown in the outside world. An India watcher who does not understand his own discipline at all, who is a complete failure, who is totally incompetent, is the one who says or who assumes that in India, secularism means secularism. There are all these people who write, yeah, the BJP is a threat to India's secular state. That presupposes that India is a secular state. That proves that you don't understand what secularism is at all. Because India is not a secular state, it discriminates against Hindus right from the constitution and into practical laws and policy. Secularist intellectuals are not secularist. Everything that they will violently condemn in Hinduism, they will condone in Islam or in Christianity. In India, secular simply means anti-Hindu. Mullahs abhor the notion of secularism. To them, secularism means the completely sinful situation that men arrogate to themselves the right to make their own laws, whereas the authority to make laws rests in Allah. So they abhor secularism. Yet in India, they are all called secularists. They preach about secularism and so on. So the word secularism in India has a completely different meaning from its original meaning. So if you don't understand that, and most India watchers don't, then it proves that you just don't understand India.